So if you guys ever wondered what happens to your vehicles after you wreck them, um, generally you get in a wreck and your insurance comes out, they check out your vehicles and they tell you the total. Um, but what they may not tell you is that they actually go to an auction where you can sign up to be a member and buy those vehicles. And so we have actually bought a 2006 Chevy Duramax and we're gonna be rebuilding it. We're gonna show you guys how we did it and give you some ideas maybe what you can do. So this is the vehicle that we bought. This is a 2006 Chevy Duramax 3500. Um, this is the way it showed up. Generally, they're not taken apart like this. They're, you can see where the, uh, the bent body panels are and everything are. Um, somebody's taken this thing apart and done a very thorough estimate on it and then they, didn't, they just left the parts off of it. Um, as you can see, the whole front clips bare, everything's ready to go, bumper's gone. Um, this whole uh, inner fender is gone, the outer fender is gone, hood hinges are gone, the hood has gone. Um, but uh, upon our further inspection, we know it's not very wrecked. Um, the uh, bumper brackets are in the right spot. There's nothing in the frame that's been big. Um, got a few dings on that fender and the few that it's rubbed here. Um, this one, as far as total vehicles go, is not a very bad wrecked one. And what the insurance company deems is total is a vehicle that takes more money to repair than it's worth. Um, for people like me and you, maybe, um, we don't have to fix them up as good as the insurance company does. Um, insurance companies have to put them back to OEM standard. And so they have to replace anything that is damaged where I just want to get running again so that I can use it. Um, so for me to fix this up will be a lot cheaper than for the insurance company to fix it up. And that's where this truck comes in handy. So this truck is also a 2006 GMC Duramax that we had bought in with a bad motor and it has a bad rear end. And so we are gonna take the front end parts off of it and put it back on this Duramax. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna do that today. Stay tuned. <laughs> 